Good day traders. Hoping that everybody's doing well today. Unfortunately, our live streams was not working yet again, but that's fine. Uh, let's just hop on. I'll take a look at all the pairs that you guys decided to pick in the channel and I'll just um, hop on to the four charts. Now, before we get started, um, take a look at this. Now, before we continue, let's take a quick look at this unique prop firm. We all know that trading with minimal capital can be a pain, especially when you want to take advantage of commodities or indices with those massive movements. So that's why we've partnered with Forex Prop Firm. So they fund up to $2 million with a profit split of up to 90%. That really caught our attention. So all you need to do is complete a challenge and verification stage and get started. Now, the beauty with these guys is the objectives are actually achievable. So with four different capital options to choose from, there's also room for growth. So get on board, check out their dashboard and trading tools offered and quickly accelerate your trading career. Now, another thing that caught our eye is an instant funding model that is available. So you basically skip two sections, then immediately get funded. This means you start making some gains from the get go. So check them out on the link on the description below and read up on them. Awesome. So let's just hop on now and um, take a look at what we have. So yesterday we had a couple of setups which were, well, we didn't have a couple, we actually had two setups that did not trigger. And both those setups um, was US 30 and gold. So now if you guys take a look at the US 30 pair, rather instrument, we have been waiting for it to at least drop onto the Z region here and give us a nice pull to the top. But until that happens, um, we're going to try and find some opportunities um, in the downside. And this is what we looked at yesterday. Uh, well, it was late yesterday, so we couldn't even post it. But um, we looked at this setup here with this region over here being our nice entry point and, of course, refining it further to give us a good setup and um, one also looked at this region over here but it was a bit too tight for me and um, I really usually don't like trading um, unclear setups and that's why we decided to take a look at this specific one from this point and just hopping over to the hourly for a clear bigger picture I'm just going to move the setup. It's still valid, by the way, because remember, we picked this one from the daily. So it's still valid. And in that validity, we will take a look at this region here. And um, it'll be something like that. And of course, hopping on to this point here. So this is a potential trade that we could look at um, as price goes down to the bottom. And it looks something like that. There we go. And that's a decent setup to look at moving forward. So we'll just keep that in mind. And of course, our market as well. And the second pair we looked at is gold. These are also your top uh, pairs that you guys sent uh, to the group. That you guys voted for actually. Um, yeah, US 30, gold, GJ, UCAD, AU and e, EU. So just look at those top ones. So with gold, um, it didn't come back to this region which we're looking at. And um, also still valid, especially this 1827 one. So this specific one, we're going to take a look at it and see how far it goes. And um, this one over here didn't trigger because of our Wushu tool box. So we miss that setup. So we are going to remove that. And we are still waiting for this massive one here at the bottom. But you can see price is still in the range. So we're going to give it maybe a day and just take a look at how far it goes. And then we're left with these two setups here. Both valid, by the way. 
so we will have something along these lanes so we've got three setups on this one um, a bullish and bearish which are both still valid by the way so we'll just um, open that for now and leave it at that perfect and just just um, save the US 31 as well it's a bit slow on my side there we go US 31 is still valid just open it perfect just go into the hourly just make it like that so I'll send both like this perfect and moving forward with your requests here um, we've got GJ and you can uh, so GJ is another interesting pair as well like I always keep mentioning and um, I've been getting some good setups with it yesterday we had the setup over here and I don't know how many of you got this one I do not know but I know that it basically came back into the zone and triggered some uh, buys here and completely left to the top hitting a nice 3-4 R and then came back down again um, a break even of course in the last 40-30% and then um, came back into the region again so those that actually did get this setup again it would be pretty good because i mean you got a, you got a nice um 5r so it worked in your favor so this was a good setup from yesterday um but like i keep saying some of these setups you miss them very easily especially the second trade with this one so moving forward for the day i was looking at the daily time frame and um I'm just going to make it a bit bigger. And I keep saying price should be coming back to this region and pulling down from that zone over there. But in the meantime, we'll just have to keep watching it and see how it behaves in this region. So for today, following the four hour, just move it a bit here. Sorry. Just need to bring it back a bit. On the four hour, we do see a bit of bullish momentum. Um, but I, I wouldn't trade it because of what's happening at the bottom. I don't see any clear price structure, which is a bit of a bummer. But um, let's see how it looks on the 30. Yeah, it's very erratic. Price is very erratic on this one. We are going to have to ignore it for today. And then let's hop on now to the next pair, which is... Um, you can so gj we are going to ignore it for the day um or take a look at it during the new york and just see how far it goes and um what you can get from it now starting with the daily and you can we do have nice bearish momentum the question now is where would we want to get in okay Hop on to the hourly. And then on the 30 minute, structure is broken here. And you see a massive imbalance left here. Some liquidity at the bottom here. So I'll probably wait for a downward momentum. Wait for price to get into this region over here. Um, but I would still need a bit more confirmations. And maybe some... Um, structure in the lower time frames that would give me reason to actually go up with it from this point forward and this is exactly what i'll be watching for potential buy so it'll be a potential buy from this point i'm um, going to the top sorry about that so we'll be looking at something along these regions going to the top so we'll see how that plays out. For now, I'll just leave it as is. But I am going to mark it. 
awesome and that's it for the day guys let's see how it plays out how many pips we can get and um if we do get some beautiful brilliant ones would have a nice beautiful movement um with you cat before you go i just visualize this one over here i'm going to the lower time frame 15 minutes Um, it probably did leave us. Definitely left us. I don't see it coming back into this region again. But if it does, um, we would have a nice sell from that point. And um, see how far it goes. We'd have a nice sell from this point over here. Going all the way to this region here. So this is why not actually share. Just have to see if price will come back to that region. Awesome. Happy trading and remember to manage your risk well, guys. Cheers.